So here we go. Uh, War Machine, episode 74. Thanks for coming back. We're going to work some more on this front suspension today. We're going to get started with making our lower bag mount. And a uh, little sneak peek, we're going to run into another little problem along the way. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so our next part of the plan here is our trusty little air bagarino. So my plan is for this joker to sit on top of this. It's gonna sit across these two brackets. It's gonna weld here and here. And then it's gonna come over and you see where it sits on the knuckle right here. Uh, it's gonna weld around the top of the knuckle right here as well. The way it ties it together in three points. Still got lots of room to get to the three bolts underneath right here. So in order for this guy, you'll notice I made out this piece of quarter inch wood. Uh, I did that earlier. Sorry, I kind of left you out on that deal. Um, basically, it's designed to where my, well, my plan is that this piece of metal will sit halfway over this piece of quarter inch. That way I'll have me a nice, a nice uh, trough right there to weld in, then weld it in on, on the underside as well. Same here, I can burn in the underside on both sides and I can weld it on top and bottom here so it'll all be nice and firm. Now, I set it up here and I take a look. Let's see. Now, I've already checked. I do have clearance to my frame rail. Uh, should be just enough with it sitting just like that once I get it welded. Now, also, there's this nut that goes right here where the top of the... There you go. Now, that sits there. Now, you see, it's clear. If I press it all the way down, it does clear that nut. Not by a lot, but it does. So now, when I stick it up in here before I weld it, I will slide it away just as much as I can to have a little bit of a trough there. Just, this comes up, the end of the um, ball joint, kingpin, whatever it's called, sticks up a little bit, but it clears all of this no problem. I have a very, very small amount of clearance to work with here. I can fit my finger between the frame rail and the bag, and then right here, I can fit, I don't know, a sheet of construction paper. That, that's about all I can fit there. So I'm gonna unbolt this from the bag. We'll cut out a couple of these, stick them up here, and uh, um, I will go ahead, I'll stick it up here. I'll lay this on top of it, go ahead and get it drilled out for the, for the three bolts that go on the bottom of the bag. Then we'll stick it, stick it together, stick it up here and see how it all fits, and uh, hopefully ready to tack it together soon. <laughs> All right, so here we are. You can see we got both of our plates cut. I threw them over here on the table and just kind of cleaned them up with a grinder. I did draw a line down the center on each of them. You see, this one's not drilled yet. I just didn't get around to it yet. I did go ahead and get this one drilled. I got my bolts put in it. They are just snugged up for kind of location purposes. Um, so um, we're gonna go over the truck now. We're gonna sit this on there. The plan is that the front edge of this thing will sit on the front edge of the bracket on the truck and uh, should have about a uh, half an inch of gap to from the frame to the uh, airbag. It's gonna sit on there like this. 
Uh, it's locating the uh, the airport to the inside of the truck toward toward the engine. Um, should have, like I said, nice little trough set up to weld in on the on the inside of the frame rail there. Um, and then uh, should have just enough clearance for uh, where the ball joint sticks up through there. So let's stick it up in there, see if everything fits good, see if we can get this guy tacked in place. Okay, so let's see if we can get in here and get this guy fitted. It's kind of difficult with the bag extended, but I mean, it'll be what it'll be. If I can get this guy lined up in here where it goes, should be in nice shape. Ooh, that feels pretty good. Getting close-ish. See, the thing is that every little bit that I come away from the frame, it wants to climb up this knuckle. So, but I gotta keep it flat on this secondary piece right here. Feeling pretty good right there. I'm kind of digging that. So the key here is really more than anything just to check and make sure I've got clearance on my bag and all that. Because what I'm actually going to do is once I check and I've got clearance everywhere like I'm supposed to with the plate sitting like this, then I'm going to take the bag back off because it's a pain in the butt to kind of locate it all um, with the bag on there. I don't know. I'm, I might tack it. I don't know. We'll see. No, I'm going to take the bag back off and then tack it if, once I get it located and can confirm that everything is fitting the way that I want it to. So if I look right here, yep. Plenty of clearance. So let's grab our nut. Put him up here. Right there. Yep. Plenty of clearance. Not a lot, but it does have plenty. So I can actually can move it back on that just a little bit. Give me just a little tiny, a little less ridge on this back edge here to work with. Give me a little bit more clearance on that ball joint I'm still good to the frame right there so yeah I think that's gonna work nicely so next up I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, pop this airbag off go ahead and drill out the other one then we'll come back and we'll tack this guy in place all right then let's see if we can stick this guy up in here and get him tacked in place a little easier without having to fight that stupid airbag Pretty nice right there. Should weld in there really good too. Feeling pretty good. I like it. Can't really tell how square I am. Kind of have to eyeball it, unfortunately. Feel pretty good about that though. All right, well, my phone decided to update while I was uh, getting ready to tack the plate in, but as you can see, I got it all tacked in anyhow. Uh, I did put the bag back on here. The bolts are in it. I just kind of snugged them up by hand. Obviously, you can see I clamped it down. Now, I don't have the, uh, the truck sitting all the way on the bump stops. It's uh, about an inch, you know, right around an inch. Um, from being all the way down on the bump stops. I'm not going to let it down on that right now because as I do, it's going to want to try to move it a little bit just because now that the the, uh, the radius arm is actually attached. But what I can tell already, I've got enough room clearance on this uh, um, splash liner, um, whatever, I don't know what I'm calling it, whatever, splash liner for now. I have enough clearance for the top, for the top mount to come down and weld against my frame on the front side. I don't have enough right now. If I come down a little bit more, I'm not really going to have room for my bracket to come here like I want. So you can see I've got a line drawn right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Now I can't really open it up anymore right here because I got that PCM or whatever that is that's mounted right there. You see the bolts for it. Um, I think it's pretty much right against that. Eh, I, I could come over just a touch if I need to. I might could come over a quarter, quarter to a half an inch maybe and open that up. But I don't necessarily need much much room higher as I do over because I want to come out and come all the way kind of to right here. 
basically I want to I want to be able to have as, as much surface on this frame to weld to as possible just to you know to give it more leverage to, to hold tight up here at the top so I'm gonna go on and cut this out and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and we'll start kind of getting an idea for what we need to do for this top mount bracket right here so I'm gonna go on and get a cut off wheel and start hacking this off All right, so now, even if I come down that one more inch, I think I'll have enough right there. I'm, I may, I don't know, let's see. All right, so like a like an idiot, I didn't bother to cover that uh, airport, the top of this bag while I was cutting that, so it's gonna be fun if I did get any shavings in there to get that out of there, but whatever, it is what it is at this point. Um, I'll blow it out good later. Now, I did take the bolts loose and turn the bag around so that the airport was out here just for right now because I've got this bag mount that came with the bags when I bought them. Now, I am not going to use this. I might kind of steal some of the design of it a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. But for right now, I think it will actually help me. So if I can stick it up here, it might help me to get an idea for where I'm at as far as positioning on my bag and everything and how far down I want to come on my frame and all that. So I got to see if I can find two bolts that'll bolt into this guy right here so that I can get an idea for where I'm at. So I'm going to go try and find two bolts right quick and I'll come right back. All right, so here we are. So in the process of kind of getting ready to set up that upper mount for the bag, I decided that, I didn't decide, but I have to let the truck all the way down on the bump stops because it's not sitting there now. So what I had to do, because where it's sitting now, let me pan back here, where it's sitting right now with the axle, I've got about an inch to the bump stops. Uh, and then the lift is sitting on the locks, which obviously is where you want it to be because you can work safely. Um, so what I did was I made me some spacers to go underneath that stand one inch so I would bring it up so that when I let it down on the locks it'll be sitting on the bump stop so that I can set my my upper bag mount um, in a proper location so that hopefully when it's aired all the way out I'm sitting on the bump stops so I raised the truck up just enough so I could throw those little spacers under there I went to let it back down all the way to the bump stops and then a little guy reared his ugly head that I had forgotten about that guy right there uh, right now the top of the axle is hitting that because you see those white marks That's where I've got to cut it out to clearance uh, You know from before we went through that a long time ago So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna mark with a pin I'm gonna mark around this and I'm gonna just cut this guy out Enough right now so it'll clear and I can let this let this thing all the way down So I can make these bag mounts now once I pull the axle out to final weld everything up That's when I'm gonna extend and come across here and rebuild this side up for where I had to cut that area off of it over here and we'll make a nice cutout spot for that stupid bolt that way it can clear properly so now I got to take these two bolts out of our radius arm oh, let me climb back up here oh boy here we go take those two bolts out of the radius arms on both sides that way I can raise the truck up because if I try to raise the truck up right now um, 
it's gonna the axle is gonna swing down and it's gonna start pulling backwards because <laughs> that arm ain't gonna get longer as it goes down that's the, the natural way that the axle will swing now on, on that axis like like that so I got to pull those out so I can let the arms let the arms kind of flip flip blah, 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 kind of flop to the side so that I can raise it up enough to take my plasma cutter cut out a notch for that bolt then we'll be able to let it all the way down to the bump stops long way to go to get to that but hope you get the picture if not Hopefully you'll understand here in just a minute as you see me work.
Finally. Okay. Well, that took a little bit of doing, but we are officially sitting on bump stops. The bolts are clear on both sides. Now, we ain't sitting quite as firm on the bump stops as I'd like to be, but we are on it. So what I'll actually do is, when I set up this uh, upper bag mount, I will set it up about, I know, I'm, I'm maybe quarter to a half an inch higher than where the bag is not all the way bottomed out. That way, the plan would be, if I'm aired all the way out, that I'm not sitting on the bag, that I'm sitting on the bump stop. That way, if for some reason, it were to ever have, a, have an issue, I don't want all the weight sitting here. I'd much rather sitting under the frame. So, looks like I'm gonna have to do a little more trimming right here, which is, you know, good to know because, you know, once you get to a certain point, that axle does start rotating back a bit. So, I'll have to measure my wheelbase, see if I need to, because I can always extend, extend it out just a little bit if I need to come forward, you know, an eighth of an inch or something. That's not a big deal. I can adjust that out of these hind joints, no problem. So, now I'm just gonna check, make sure I've got this, the same clearance from side to side uh, from the inside of the hind joint mount to the frame itself right here. Make sure that's the same from side to side, which it should be, feels like it probably is, just giving it the old finger gauge here. Um, check, see what kind of clearance. Looks like we got good clearance to our oil pan. Yeah, we got <laughs> very little clearance to the oil pan, so, but it is clearing just a smidge. But we're not, like I said, we're not gonna ride at this height, so that's not really an issue. So. I just need to mark this where I need to cut it, and then uh, we gotta tack this plate on the other side so that I can mark it where I need to cut it. So uh, let's mark that, get these cut on either side. And uh, actually first I'm gonna check and make sure that we're side to side where we need to be. If not, I'll bump it with a hammer or something, get it kind of squared up to the frame. Then we'll come back, we'll mark these, and get them cut. And then we'll see right from there. All right, so I'm not sure if you can tell from that angle, but as we came up, our axle started to roll back some, which has got this. Obviously, this is now rolled back a little bit. Now, I don't want to true this all the way up just yet, because I what I know is that this top plate, I want to set it as close to zero as possible, because that's where this plate is going to live when we're at near ride height right here. So I'm going to try to pull this thing down as flat as I can, I see that I'm already, I'm already hitting right here, so I know I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more out from there. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to cut at least to right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the least amount that I you know, possibly can. Obviously I don't need that much, you know, but in order to make it look decent. Right now, probably, probably just come straight down to this corner right here, something like this. And then try to maybe flatten this out right across here for now. Like I said, I can always come back and pretty it up later. Right now, it's just all about clearance. You see how far I've got this cut out? Eh, maybe I went a little bit far. Whatever. It'll be what it'll be. Anyway, okay. Some people might see it, but a lot of people ain't going to see it. And I'd be all right with it if they do. Whatever. So that's my move over here. I'm going to cut this out. Uh, I got to tack this plate on the other side. And then bolt this whole deal on the other side and then figure out where I got to cut out over there. So I'm going to go ahead, raise the truck up enough so I can cut this out here. Then I'll jump over on the other side and get it squared away. And then we'll come back. You know what? I changed my mind. I can really just take these bolts out of the bag right here and just pull the bag off and just cut it. And then I don't even have to move the truck around a whole lot. That's definitely going to be the easier way to do this.
That'll be fun to clean up later and try to make it look nice. And to weld around too. Because I'm going to have to move all these brake lines and stuff. Oh well, moving on. All right, well, there you go. So just like any normal project, when you try to build custom suspension or build a custom vehicle, you run into little problems along the way or would never dreamed your stupid motor mount bolt would have been in the way like that, but it was. Um, as far as the suspension goes, uh, at this point, everything's just going along quite swimmingly. Um, got that lower bag mount wrapped up, and, you know, got everything clearance real good. Um, gonna keep pushing along in the next episode, come back, see us, uh, hopefully uh, get one step closer to wrapping this thing up. Uh, for those of you that support the channel, thank you so much. Um, as always, uh, throw me a comment, let me know if you like it. If you hate it, some guy made a comment on the last one uh, uh, about a short ladder bar. I guess you didn't actually watch the episode, you know it wasn't a ladder bar. Uh, and yes, it is a little bit short. And just like I said when I answered you, uh, it is a little short, I realize that. Stay tuned, it's going to change. And just like the, and I said to the rest of you too, stay tuned, things change. I'm going to run into some problems here in the very near future. Uh, so uh, you're going to have to just come back and see what happens.